Welcome to my channel. Today let's take a look at the Van Gogh pedal power board for guitars. Let's go! Van Gogh sent me their pedal board. I guess it's the larger one um, with two rows of pedals going from top to bottom with a power supply that can handle 1.5 amps and uh, has multiple outlets. Now one caveat I want to say is even though they sent it to me for review, they have no influence on what I'm going to say. So the opinions and my experience with this pedal board is mine, mine alone. So let's see what's in this pack. Is there a pocket in it? Nothing's in the pocket. Let's see here. So we have Velcro. Velcro for pedals and pedal board. And some documentation on how to hook up the power. And here's the transformer and a bunch of power cables for pedals. Oops. And here's the manual and foam. And here's the pedal board. Looks like it's brushed aluminum. So right here, pedal hookup input for power that's it and then there's some straps here that you can strap it in later in the carrying case so I need the soft side on the pedal board There. And that's it. Here's the pedal board. And uh, you have a switch here and a power input here and in and out here uh, for the guitar signal. And then you have on the other side here you have various power outputs to the pedal, including a high voltage or higher voltage amperage 9 volt outlet and a 12 volt uh, 500 milliamp and an 18 volt 500 milliamp. So some power hungry pedals can go in here too. So that's cool. Here's the external power supply. Um, this thing is, let's see here, multi input in voltage, so from 100 to 240. So just this has to change for Europe. 1.5 amp uh, output, so that's pretty hefty. So you plug it in here. And you plug it into the wall. So I'll turn it on and there we have it. Now over here there's a little thing, a little dial. You can, I guess you can dial in the intensity of the, well that's tight, okay, the intensity of the light I guess. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens when you plug in some pedals. So they provided a bunch of cables here for pedals and some short ones. I guess there it's four or five inches. And this, six, six inches maybe. 
All right. Well, I mean, I put all the uh, Velcro on. I put like to put the soft side on the board and the hard side on the pedals due to the fact that if you just put it on carpet like this, the pedal won't slip and it'll stick to the carpet a little bit. So that's why I put the hard end uh, side of the Velcro on the pedals. Some people might do it in a different way, but that's what I like to do. So you can just stick it here and um, we'll, this should be a short one I'm assuming. So let's try that. Try that. See how that works. Yep. I'll put a I'll put a so it lights up, so that's good. Well, we'll put another pedal in front of it. Yeah, this, this Octaro is from the 80s and it still works, but it needs power. So a short cable. Let's see here. So that light is a little um, sluggish because it's so old, this pedal. Um, now, I, this, is, this video is not about what order to put the pedals in and how to build the pedal board and, and so forth and so on. Um, they claim that this pedal board can take t uh, 20 pedals, but uh, that's going to be hard unless you have, I, I don't see how, but we'll see. Now let's see how this thing works and sounds. I'm running into the clean channel of a Bogner Pandora Ecstasy and everything on the board is off right now. So I'll just kick in some pedals now. So this freak out pedal right here uh, takes over 300 milliamps so it's sucking juice from the power supply and it, it doesn't seem like there's any problems with this at all. I'll try another this overdrive pedal, let's try this one. <laughs> Put a face on it.
All right. Couple of things I want to show. The, let's test, test this first. Uh, if you can take my weight, I weigh about 175 pounds. So far, so good. Doesn't seem. That's good. Let's try the little tabs on the back here. The raise, risers. And that's good. Seems pretty solid. Now, one thing I want to point out here is this little plug here, which is molded uh, almost right away. I had a problem with it because when I flipped the pedal board over, it bent it and it came out like this, see? But you can plug it back in like this and it'll still work. But I think they need to improve this plug from the power supply. This needs to be a little stronger. My, uh, criticism, but it still works as you can see when you do that. Right? Well, you got to make sure that this tab... Put it back in and it'll work, but very flimsy. In the description below, you can get the discount code. You can get 10% off if you buy it on Amazon. I have to say that it's already a really good value. My opinion about this pedal board is that considering the price, it is an extremely good value. You can't get it much cheaper than this. I mean, it is a quarter of the price for a similar version from Voodoo Lab, for example. Um, Voodoo Lab is made in America, this is made in China, so that probably has a lot to do with it. But the build quality is also not on level with Voodoo Lab, I have to say that right away. It's nice to include a carrying bag, the Velcro, all the power uh, connectors to the pedals, as well as external power supply, a wall ward in this case. And it's pretty high powered and it has a lot of features as far as that's concerned. You can change the angle of the pedal board and as you can see I stood on it even though they don't recommend you standing on it. But um, you know, it didn't seem to give it all. However, that power supply, that input jack into the pedal, um, much too flimsy for for guitar work. I mean, it's sitting on. It's just a matter of time before that, that thing just snaps off, and it did that within 20 minutes of me having it. So, I think I hope they'll fix that. Also, the way it's designed with those power cords or power plugs or whatever you want to call them from the power supply and the way that's lined up that goes to the pedals, it does keep it really neat. Now. For a couple of bucks more, they should probably have included these, you know, some ties and this little glue-on cable tie holder to keep the cable management underneath the board, tight to the board, so it doesn't um, get pinched on the sides or drags on the ground. Um, but you can buy these for a couple of bucks, so that's not an issue in that sense, but I would recommend that. Other than that, I think it's very well done. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. And until next time, take care.